It could be something stuck up there. Worst case scenario, it could be a tumour. Oh, you poor thing. Hey. I don't like seeing you like this at all, and you know. See the vet in a minute, okay? Yeah. Poor little thing. Aren't you, eh? You're a wounded little soldier, aren't you? At the Bondi Referral Hospital Sash, David and Margaret's three-year-old cocker spaniel Daisy is in severe pain. We gave her a treat this morning and I noticed that she was neither taking it in or spitting it out. I tried to open her mouth to see if anything was any problem there and she has just screamed. She's yelped in real pain. She's got a gooey eye at the moment as well. We've only noticed that this morning, so I don't know whether those two are in any way connected, but she's in a lot of discomfort. So what's been happening? What's going on? We thought we had some, something stuck in her mouth, but okay. we um, tried to open her mouth mm -hmm. and she yelped terrible it's pain and, and her eye's a bit gooey. Emergency vet Dr Lisa Chimes checks for any telltale signs of what's causing such intense pain. Now you're going to let me open your mouth and see? She doesn't even want me going near the mouth, does she? Oh, puppy girl. You want to let us do this? Hmm? Oh, sweetie. Daisy is really in a lot of pain. Her left eye is bulging forward and her jaw is so sore that she won't even let me touch her mouth. Let me have a go. Hmm? Yeah, let me put it in. No, all right, no. Daisy. The eye doesn't actually look abnormal. Mm. It's more the tissue surrounding the eye that doesn't look right. Something's causing it to pop forward. When there's inflammation in that eye area and you open the jaw, it puts pressure onto that sore spot. And that's quite a classic finding that we see with animals that have got problems behind their eye. They're painful when you open their mouths as well. We could be looking at something like an abscess. It could be something stuck up there. Worst case scenario, it could be a tumour. Look, she's a young girl, and I think that's much less likely, but we do have to rule that out. Oh, you poor thing, eh? I don't like seeing you like this at all, and, you know. Yeah. What I think we should be doing is a CT scan. She'll have to have an anaesthetic for that, but that allows us to see the whole skull and all the soft tissues and everything around the eye, and hopefully we'll see what's going on there. The fact that it's come on so quickly and she's so sore, we have to do something. Let's do it. Let's get okay. it done. Get it done. All right, Missy Moon. Good girl. At SASH, Lisa is about to give Daisy a CT scan to find out what's causing the painful swelling around her eye and jaw. Hey, Chris. Hey. Got her here. Hey, Daisy. Hello. All right, so we're ready to CT her head? Yep. Yep. OK, fantastic. Daisy has to be anaesthetised for the scan. You're such a good girl. Is your eyes sore, honey? You're so swollen. Mm. All right, Daze, let's do the tube. Oh, that mouth is sore, so even under anaesthetic. If she's in pain under anaesthetic, you've got to imagine how much pain she's actually in when she's awake. We've really got to get to the bottom of this for this poor little girl. That's a way. I'll just turn you around, Missy Moo. At SASH, Lisa is giving Daisy a CT scan. She's trying to identify the cause of the Cocker Spaniel's swollen eye and painful jaw. Daisy was yelping even when I was trying to open her mouth to put the tube in, and she was half anaesthetised. So you can imagine how much pain she's actually in when she's awake. 
All right, so I'm just looking at the CT now and what we are looking at is a slice through Daisy's head. This side is supposed to look like that side and you can see how much more tissue and swelling there is behind that left eye and that's where Daisy's pain is coming from. I can see that there's no obvious tumour, there's no obvious abscess. I can't find any foreign material or something stuck behind the eye. Most likely, I'm thinking something like cellulitis. Cellulitis is an aggressive bacterial infection that can spread rapidly. I do want confirmation from our radiologist, so I'm going to send the images to them. But in the meantime, I think it's best that we start treatment quickly, because if we delay it any longer, that infection is going to continue to spread. That's life-threatening. Sweet little thing. Out she come. That's a girl. I know, you've woken up a bit more. Yeah, you have, I know. You're such a good girl. Lisa has kept Daisy under 24-hour observation to see if antibiotics reduce the pain and swelling in her face. Right now, we don't have a 100% diagnosis as to what's causing Daisy's problem. In the meantime, we're going to treat for cellulitis because if we don't, she's going to get worse and fast. Yesterday, owners David and Margaret brought the three-year-old Cocker Spaniel to Sash, suffering intense pain. Is it? You're a wounded little soldier right now. Hidden cuts or abrasions can cause cellulitis. But Daisy has no visible injuries, so Lisa's hoping she's on the right path. That's a girl. So I've given Daisy an anti-inflammatory and an antibiotic and she's on a drip because she can't eat properly. Now all we can do is wait. Hopefully that will make you feel better soon, Bubby. All right, so I'm just checking to see if Daisy's CT report has come back, and here it is. Now you're gonna let me open your mouth and see? Distressed Cocker Spaniel Daisy was brought into sash by owners David and Margaret, suffering from a swollen eye and a severely painful jaw. Oh, she doesn't even want me going near the mouth, does she? Lisa suspected these were symptoms of an acute infection called cellulitis and started Daisy on an immediate course of antibiotics. The report from the radiologist is actually really good news. It means that our initial suspicions were right. Daisy's on the correct treatment and we just need to continue on and we'll get her back home. Hi, Daisy. Hi. I know. You're looking good and very happy. My goodness, that's so much better. That is so much better, hey? It's gone right down. It has. Can I get you out? You want to come out with me? That's a girl. Good girl. Let's have a look. Can I have a look at you? Wow. Yeah, that's great. Daisy's so much brighter compared to how she was when she arrived. She's friendly and wagging her tail. This is a really good sign. So much better. Yeah, you're looking great. Daisy, hi. It's been three days since Daisy was first treated for cellulitis, and it's now time to go home. Can I get this on? You gotta wait, you gotta wait. Hey, I know, Daisy, wait. Daisy is clearly feeling much better. I can't even hold her still. Are you ready to go? Yes, yes I am, yes I am. <laughs> the swelling's gone right down. She's comfortable, she's happy. I think she wants to go home. OK. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Yeah! You won't believe who's around that corner. I think you know. Oh, God, look at her. <laughs> You're like a new doll. You're a Oh, Daisy. Okay. Okay. 
Yeah. You couldn't open your mouth last time we saw you, could you? Hey? Yeah. What a good they girl. Looked after you here. Yeah, have they ever? Give yeah. me a wash in the bath. Oh, it's such a relief that it's cellulitis and it's nothing worse. And we can take her home and it's wonderful. So it's a very good outcome from a, a very dismal looking situation to start with. Daisy, see you later. She doesn't even want to look at me. She's out of here. <laughs> Thanks Thank very much. Thanks for the appreciation, Daisy. <laughs> Thank you. See you bye -bye. later. Bye. bye. I'm Dr. Kate Adams and welcome to Bondi Pet, a new destination for pet health and well-being. Our site is filled with everything to fulfill your pet's needs so that you can make healthy choices for your pets. <laughs>